Hello, my name is Natasha Rikareva. I was born and raised in Kiev, Ukraine, and I also studied and lived in St. Petersburg, Russia. I've been an artist since very tender age, and I went to numerous studios and art schools. My first degree was in graphic design, so my first position uh, was at the firm was um, little department which had some clay facilities when i touched the clay over there i completely fell in love with clay and um, i decided to quit my graphic designer position and to become a sculptor since then um, i also went to a couple of graduate schools and another graduate school was here at the university of minnesota so I have an MFA also um, in sculpture from there. So um, during my artistic career, I tried and experimented with uh, different sculpting materials such as bronze and welded steel and uh, plaster, plastic and uh, fabric and uh, mixed media materials but my favorite material is still clay recently i started uh, also blowing glass as you could see here there are some combined pieces of blown glass parts with clay parts and what i enjoy about the glass is this really translucent element so uh, i've done some cloud series where the, the faces are uh, incorporated or the cloud is becoming a body as well. Um, in uh, my work, um, my influences range from Greek mythology to uh, Eastern philosophies of spiritual transformations. I like to use charged symbolism such as birds and clouds and eggs and fish and all of those symbols they exist in in different cultures and they are represent something for people from different walks of life so when the viewer steps into uh, my world he can associate what's going on in his life that's what i'm interested in um, and I also use the dreams as a source of my inspiration. In the Rare Birds exhibition, you will see two pieces of mine. One is called Early Bird Brings Lucid Dreams. And uh, you see the ceramic face embedded in glass. She has a blue bird on her forehead and the bird here represents a messenger or free spirit and uh, maybe she can predict the future and another piece is called 24 bird souls and originally i created it, this piece um, as a dedication to to 100 actually there were more than 100 um, heroes who sacrificed their lives on uh, uh, in Kiev during the protests of 2014 so each bird here uh, is immortalizing their souls so these are the souls of the heroes. Um, the exhibition of rare birds runs until July 2nd. So there is still time to see it in person. And I hope you will be able to do so. Thank you, Penn's Gallery, for inviting me to participate in this wonderful show.